Good night people. Welcome everyone to our sports news channel here you are always well informed. I ask you to subscribe, leave your like and thank you very much. With the off-season practices, both OTAs and mini camps, all done for the Cowboys this off-season, there is a lengthy break between now and the start of training camp, which begins July 24th in Oxnard. But that doesn't mean there aren't questions on the table at each position. Each day, we will take a deep dive into each spot on the field, analyzing the top battles, the key players and some bold predictions. Today, we continue with the guard-slash-center position. What needs to go right? Speaking of, right, let's go with the right guard and say that Zach Martin needs to continue to be the guy he's been for the first nine seasons. If he continues to play at an all-pro level, it immediately helps the positions on both sides of him. Biggest question, the biggest question is who plays left guard. At the end of minicamp, Tyler Smith was moved inside with the thought that Tyron Smith will play left tackle and Terrence Steele will eventually return on the right side. All of that will affect where Tyler Smith plays. The Cowboys would like for him to be their left tackle of the future, but for now, it could be guard. Battle to watch, if Tyler Smith eventually moves back to tackle, the battle to watch is left guard. But if not, let's look at backup center. Matt Farniak and Alec Lindstrom. Bold prediction, Tyler Smith plays the entire season at left guard. The bold part of this is more about the tackle position being solidified enough with Tyren, Terrence Steele, and maybe Waletsko to keep Tyler Smith inside. Biggest challenge, the pieces are in place with Zach Martin, Tyler Biadas and perhaps Tyler Smith. The challenge is going to be finding the continuity in the group. Tyler Smith needs to be able to practice their all of camp and if they can keep those three together for most of the practices and games, it should be a formidable group. Key Stat The Cowboys ranked first in the NFL last year in red zone scoring, finding the end zone 71.4% of the time. They were third in goal-to-go situations, with a touchdown 84.5% of their trips. That usually begins and ends with the strength of the interior of the line. 